Saskatchewan has more than 60 million acres of farmland, 33 million acres of which is used for crop production each year. I got a look at what happens to harvested crops as they travel from the farm to the elevator and beyond. My journey started at the Oros family farm northeast of Saskatoon. Earlier this fall, the canola was cut and now it's time to combine it. Once the combine is full, the canola is dumped in the trucks and transported to the farmyard. In 2013, Saskatchewan produced 10.4 million acres of canola. That's 50% of Canada's total production of the oil seed. The crop is separated into bins where it will be stored until it's time to take it to the elevator. I visited the Viterra elevator outside of Humboldt. Producers pull up with their crop and a probe randomly selects a sample of it to be tested. It is all electronically controlled by this guy. The sample is then sent through a series of pipes into the office. The crop must be tested to make sure it meets certain quality standards. They look at the levels of protein and moisture in the crop. They also check for things that might lower the crop's quality, like disease and green seeds in the canola. Once the crop has been documented, it is dumped into a holding tank. A detailed computer system is used to electronically send the crop from the holding tank to one of the bins. Okay. This facility can hold 36,000 tons of harvested crops. Roughly once a week, a train is loaded and Saskatchewan crops are taken all over the world. Last year, we exported $11.7 billion worth of agricultural products across the globe. I'm uh, Leonard Blay. I'm the FOM for the Humboldt Concrete. From here, it has uh, numerous places. Uh, we have ports in Prince Rupert and Vancouver, and then to the east is Thunder Bay in Montreal. But uh, the majority of it is loaded into bulks or uh, ocean vessels that uh, move it across the world. The crops grown in our backyard are used for many different products. Who knows where these canola seeds will end up or what they'll become.